Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this week's SEL Spotlight. I'm Mrs. Gonzalez, one of the wonderful counselors at Compass Charter Schools, and today we're talking about clarifying values. I hope that by the end of today's short video, uh, you understand how values influence your decisions that you make, as well as give you a newfound appreciation for the people, things, and activities that you value. So I want you to start off with this short activity. Think quickly. You're being sent to a planet in outer space, and you can only take one person and one possession with you. Assume that your basic needs like water, shelter, food, um, those are all going to be met. So I'll give you 10 seconds to decide on um, that one person and one possession that you would bring with you to this planet. So your time starts now. I'll give you 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and blast off. Okay, time's up. So, which person and possession did you choose? Why did you choose the person and possession that you chose? Think about that for a moment. Pause the video if you have to really think about that one, because I think it's not an easy answer to arrive at. And what is the point of this exercise, right, this activity? Well, the point of this short activity was to help you identify what you value because knowing that will help you make decisions and plans that you are going to be comfortable living with. So let's explore a little bit more about what you value. But before moving on, I want to share this quote that I really like by Roy Disney. It says, it's not hard to make decisions when you know what your values are, and that couldn't be more true, but this is going to require some exploration and knowing what your values are so that our decisions do become easier, right? So I'll ask you a series of questions here, and I want you to think about what you would prefer the most. There's no right or wrong answer, so I ask that you just play along with me here. First question, would you rather wear clothes with patterns or without patterns? Would you rather be on stage or in the audience? Would you rather be an athlete or an artist? Would you rather spend time with your family or with friends? Would you rather do something with others or work on something alone? And would you rather be um, healthy but poor or terminally ill but very rich. Did your choices become more difficult towards the end? Most people would agree yes, but I invite you to think about why it may have become more difficult for you to decide towards the end. How did you finally arrive at a decision? People are faced with decisions every day. Many decisions are easy to make and seem unimportant, but sometimes the decisions are more difficult and they require more thought. That's why knowing what's important to us or what we value plays a big role in influencing the decisions and choices we make. And knowing what we value allows us to make choices with which we'll be comfortable with. So I'll give you an example, real life. Um, there are people who value their time being spent with family and friends more than they value money. So they might do, uh, you know, be involved in a profession that doesn't require them to be um, at work for so much so that they can spend more time at home or with friends, right? Uh, but there are other people who value money and prestige um, more than they value time with family, friends, and that kind of thing. So those people might be involved in uh, having a job that um, might take them away from home a little bit more than the other person that we talked about in the first, first scenario. Um, so, you know, different people have different values. So it's one person values one thing, the other person values the other. And so the jobs that they have hopefully are aligned um, in this case, you know, we're talking about jobs are aligned with their values in the long run. But you can see how those values play such an important role on those big, major life decisions, right, that we have to make. So going back to our uh, planet here that we're being sent off to, you were asked to pick a person and a possession to bring with you. 
And I'm sure that if we were all in a room together, um, we would find that most everyone's choices were very different. As individuals, we all value different people, different things for different reasons. And each person lives by different personal rules. It's important that we are respectful of the values and the rules of others. However, it doesn't necessarily mean that because we, you know, respect the values and rules of someone else doesn't mean that we have to um, uh, adopt those as our values and rules. So sometimes we can just, you know, respectfully agree to disagree on the way people uh, may be valuing certain things. Like for me personally, I would much rather um, spend time with family and friends um, versus make a whole lot of money. But I respect the person who's, who values that, you know, making a lot of money and having that prestigious job. I totally get it. I respect it. It's just not my thing, right? So we just agree to disagree. And then the last thing, um, it can be really hard to be the person that you want to be and to respect yourself unless you live according to your own values and rules. So this goes in line with the phrase of staying true to yourself and um, not going along with the crowd to be popular at the expense of uh, personal values and self-respect. So that example obviously is for popularity, popularity but um, not going along with you know something that you don't necessarily agree with um, at the expense of your values and self-respect, right? So as you grow older, you'll, you'll notice that you're going to be faced with a lot of situations in which you'll be asked to push those boundaries on your limits. And I'm going to present you with some scenarios and I want you to ask yourself as I'm reading this to you, what would you do in this situation? So the first one here, Amy loves playing basketball. Two days before a big game, her friends try to convince her to skip practice and go instead to see a popular movie. What would you do? Darian made plans to go out with his best friend. Darian's other friends want him to ditch the best friend and hang out with them instead. What would you do? Serena's favorite possession is an MP3 player that her older brother gave to her. It's engraved with the words, I love you. Her friends want her to trade the MP3 player to get the latest model. What would you do? Then lastly, we have Alan, who has a dream of making the honor roll. His friends try to convince him that studying is just not that important. What would you, what would you do if you were Alan? What would you do in all those situations? Being true to yourself is not always easy to do, but when you have a clear understanding of what you value, it becomes easier to be true to yourself. So I'm gonna um, share some final thoughts with you that hopefully you were able to pick up throughout this video, but the things we value really do influence everything that we do on a daily basis. Some decisions, as I mentioned, can be really easy to make and seem unimportant, but some can be really tough and really require a lot of thought and deciding on, is this aligned with my values? Number two on here, deciding on what you value um, can, you know, can take some time, um, but once you decide on that, um, you identify it and you, you make your choices and your decisions, Based on that, you'll find that what you do on a daily basis are different um, actions that you can live with and you can have that peace of mind and saying, you know, I'm happy and I'm comfortable with that decision that I made. Number three, be respectful of what others value, but always make your own choices. And this is, again, staying true to yourself, not necessarily going with the crowd, um, but instead aligning your actions with the things that you value and your own personal rules. And then lastly on here, your decisions may be tough, but if you stay true to yourself and what you value, you'll feel good about whatever you decide. So this actually wraps up this week's SEO Spotlight. 
I do want to thank you for joining us once again. I'm Mrs. Gonzalez for the Counseling Services Department at CCS. Blasting off, I mean signing off.